Hi, everybody. I'm Renee Yager, Director of Marketing at EPC, and I'm here today with CEO and co-founder Alex Lido. Hi, Alex. Hi, Renee. So in this segment, we're going to discuss LiDAR and time of flight applications for GAN and see a very wide array of customer applications. So Alex, let's talk about LiDAR and time of flight. How does GAN bring value to this application? So Renee, LiDAR technology is like quickly gaining traction in applications such as self-driving vehicles, drones, robots, facial recognition systems, augmented reality systems, and EPC's EGAN FETs and integrated circuits now add value in three ways. They enable LiDAR and time of flight system to see farther, to produce 3D images faster, and with higher resolution. And, and let's see how. So GAN technology supports both short and long range LiDAR sensors. If you wanna see long distances with high resolution, you need a very fast pulse of very high current light. And by having a very fast pulse, you can also have more pulses, which allows for the creation of a 3D point cloud much faster. Hence we say, see farther, faster, and better. And this demo is an example of the state-of-the-art, long-range direct time of flight system used for applications such as autonomous vehicles. This demo is achieving 135 ampere pulse width of, with a pulse width of just two and a half nanoseconds. And that allows vehicles to see approximately 300 meters with a resolution of just a couple of centimeters. Okay. Could you tell us a little bit more about the short range or indirect time of flight? Yeah, so, so indirect time of flight uh, is, is uh, it's a little bit different, but GAN uh, also provides solutions for these shorter range systems that are being designed in applications such as driver alertness systems, robotics, gaming, augmented reality systems, and drones, just to name a few. And these systems use a pulse train at about 100 megahertz frequency or even higher, and then pause and wait for the pulses to come back. By measuring the phase difference between the, the sent and the received pulses allows the system to see in a short range. Uh, for this type of system, you need a much smaller device like the AEC qualified EPC 2216. And, and here you can see that a system using this EPC 2216 can achieve 8.3 amperes with pulse widths of less than 1.2 nanoseconds. And this is a pulse rate of uh, greater than 100 megahertz. Those are really good demo systems for designers to use to get started. But what about some real customer applications? Uh, so we have multiple customer application examples to share. Uh, the first is from our incredible partners at Vela9, who make both spinning and scanning systems for automotive, robotics, UAVs, security, and mapping applications. Uh, Vela9 uses both integrated circuits and discrete devices from EPC in their many designs. Uh, and here's LiDAR Tech. It's yet another different type of LiDAR system. In their case, they use 16 lasers that are pointed at different angles in the same plane. The system fires all lasers at the same time and measures how long it takes for the light to come back. This provides a very simple, inexpensive collision avoidance system, as well as other intelligent transportation systems such as traffic detection and velocity measurements. Uh, and then there's PMD. They have a flash LiDAR system that uses vertical cavity sur surface emitting lasers or VIXELs like a flash bulb. Uh, then a, a, a pretty much a regular camera chip can be used to detect the light from the infrared coming, uh, coming back, and it can measure each pixel independently so that you can get a third dimension of information. And this allows for very high resolution images like the one you see on the right in this picture, but the cost is not much more than a camera chip like you'd have in your cell phone. So this technology is really ideal for integration of mobile phones and tablets, uh, and maybe one of the largest applications of this will be the replacement of the combination of ultrasonic sensors and cameras on cars. Uh, there are many new entrants into the LiDAR market as the application areas continue to expand. Here's Septon. Uh, they provide a MEMS-based LiDAR system. Their award-winning products are designed into applications including autonomous vehicles, uh, advanced driver assistance systems, or ADAS, smart cities, and security systems. 
So I think this next one is a very interesting LiDAR application. It's actually used for a robotic vacuum cleaner and floor washer. Yes, it's a must have. <laughs> this, is, this is five LiDAR sensors firing in different directions for collision avoidance, mapping and navigation back to the charging dock. Uh, this application has a, the additional requirement of being very simple and as you might guess, it also has to be very low cost. So it seems pretty clear that EGAN FETs and ICs are the logical choice to use in these LiDAR and to other type of flight applications. Yeah, you know, the short pulse width leads to higher resolution. The higher pulse current allows LiDAR to see farther. And these two FET characteristics, along with their extremely small size, makes GAN ideal for LiDAR. Hence why we say with GAN, you can see farther, faster, and better. Thanks, Alex. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for watching. If you'd like some more information on EPC for, uh, solutions for LiDAR and other time of flight applications, please visit our website at epc-co.com. Thanks again. Thanks, Alex. Bye, Renee. Bye.